I'm here this morning with Tito Ortiz, UFC fighter, Hall of Famer, and he's a diehard fisherman. Diehard fisherman. Diehard fisherman. I'm a better fisherman than I am a fighter, so go, really? that, that says a lot. Bro, are you ready to catch some fish? Oh, dude, are you ready to catch some fish? I'm dying. I, you, you come We're to in me California, here on the first West time Coast, ever so. in the Pacific Ocean. Let's make this happen, guys. Yes. How long have you been fishing for? Um, well, I started, I think, around about six. Uh, my dad took me fishing along with his uh, company. Um, then as I got a little bit older, uh, I started being a pinhead on boats, and uh, fishing saved my life. You know, my parents had a drug problem, and uh, they let me do what I want. And so fishing down in Newport kind of saved my life. And I've never stopped since then. I just got better and better the years went on. Uh, being a pinhead, pinhead to a deckhand, deckhand to my own captain on my own boat. Um, Fishing is something that I love. Like I say, I'm a better fisherman than I am a fighter, that's for sure. We are here finally after a 60 mile run. This is the secret yellowtail spot. I've never caught one of these fish before, so I'm super stoked. I heard they fight like amberjack. They look like amberjacks, so pretty pumped to get a line in the water. Came up, see that rock right yeah. there? You see it? Came up. Yeah, it was loaded though, right? Lots of fish on it. Right on top of it. Yeah. Look at that. So this is the live squid, okay? Right through here? Right in between. Oh, it's shooting water. Mm -hmm. Boom, look at that. Boom. Psh, through there, guys, like a little pressure valve. Psh. T, what you got there, man? Are those your squid pets? What's his name, Jerry? Is that little Jerry right there? Mr. Jerry. It's Jerry, dude. There we go, there he is. Is he on there? Oh, yeah, dude, I'm gonna go home now. Flying home tonight. Just blew my chance. My only, my only, only chance, bro. Last one, last chance to you do that. Look at this garbage, bro. Are you kidding me? What is it? How small are these fish down there? Tito's got one. There he is. Oh, he's huge, bro. Two pounds. Ooh. Nice. First fish of the day goes to the hardcore Tito Ortiz. So we do. We call it catching, baby. Come on, we call it catching. Calico bass. Calico bass. You gonna eat him? He's eatable. Are they good edible. Eating? Yeah, they're really good. Oh, White good. meat. Finally, you got bro. A piece of there, buddy. <laughs> oh my you gosh, there's actually fish piece. in California. This is crazy. You got yourself a oh, it's a giant. <laughs> it's my first calico bass. Me a little reef. Pretty cool there's fish. And bass back there. Yeah. Got him? Again? Tito is showing us how it's done, and we got a we got a true Pacific Bonita here. Now, now you've heard Bonitas and Black Bonitas a lot, but in Florida, we don't, these are not, we don't have these in Florida. Yeah, this is a baby, though. Hold on, Florida, hold on, hold on. We gotta hold on to the camera. Look at that, Pacific Bonita. All right, dude. dude you're, you're the champion. See those teeth. See those little teeth, bro. Wow, that's scary. All right, dude, here comes the flat line. Here it comes. Come flat line, baby. I'm gonna do the, the long cast. Here we go. It's a nice one, bro. This is my first, this is my first ever true Bonita right here. Got a lot of false albacore. Look at the stripes. It's a beautiful fish, man. Look at that. See the lines right there, guys? So pretty. Look at those teeth. You sure do got a pretty mouth. <laughs> hey, Tato, are you behind the camera right now? Right. Oh, man. Yeah, we caught ourselves a Bonita right there. That there is a good shark bait. That's some good fish and chips right there. Do you eat these? Eat Damn. You guys eat these things, bro? Yeah, you can eat those. Yo, I you want ever you had to... ceviche? Hey, well, this well, well, some ceviche. Why don't you, why don't you take a bite oh, of it right now? This, you got a fish? Uh, yeah. He just took a bunch of line. Oh, Almost backlashed me. What do you got there, Tito? Yeah, is, that good, is that good eating? Yeah. That's good eating. Yeah. What kind of fish is that? White fish. White fish. You gonna let him go? California white fish. 
another one. Oh, he's giant, guys. Absolute beast mode right there. Absolute fatty, look at that. He's been stealing our baits all day, full belly. The yellowtail bite was really slow, so we decided to pack it up and go fishing for bluefin tuna. We got a good report that there were some in the area. We set up a kite and trolled an artificial flying fish lure, skipping it across the surface. Unfortunately, the tuna weren't biting, so we moved to another island where there were white sea bass, calico bass, and yellowtail. What do you got, buddy? Bro, I got something big on. I don't know what it is, man. I think uh, we we're, were at the, the sea bass spot here, and you guys keep talking about these sea bass. This fish is over 30 pounds. It's over 30 pounds. Oh, yeah. I can promise you that. Oh, there it is. What is it? What is that thing? Oh, you yeah, we got a, we call a California guitar fish. Yes. That oh, one you want in a rock band? Bro, that's the rock band out. Bro, that's a beast, man. Oh, yeah. called, that's called a shovel nose guitar fish. So if you're in a rock band, that's the fish you want to have. Yeah, everyone here is just trash talking this fish. But this thing's making Shepherd me happy. Guitar fish, dude. We're, we're, we're tangled. I Newport Pier and I'd be able to sell them. You'd sell them? Yep. What would you sell them for? Uh, probably like 20 bucks a fish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Over, under. Over. You go underneath me? Yes, yeah, sure. Right, right, right. Oh, look at that thing, dude. There's another little fish falling him up. Oh, <gasps> what's that? Another time? It's a seal, bro. It's a giant seal. Like, what are you doing? Is he going to eat him? You can just reel that up, dude. Are we good now? Oh, he's, dude, he's dumping, bro. He's dumping. Oh, man. I can't wait to hold this thing. Hey, it's a Tito. You, you want to grab him? Get him in, get him in, dude. Get him in. Don't lose him. Bro. Don't lose him. It's a fish of a lifetime. Oh, man. So, when you turn him upside down, it looks like he's smiling at you. Here we go. Look at that, guys. Guitar fish, baby. Shepherd knows guitar fish. Dude, that's the biggest one I've ever caught or seen. Five stringers, seven stringers. It's a bass. It's a bass. That's man. actually, uh, that, that's a male. Our female. Female. It's a female, yeah. No Only claspers. You are sticking your finger. All right, here, we're going to let him go. Ready? Carfish, hey, baby. That, I think we'll get about five feet. Dude, that's the biggest fish of the boat yeah, today, go, bro. Go, go, good job. We're we'll gonna get like five feet. It's a ginorm, bro. Ginorm. Ginorm. Tito's hooked up to a giant. It's being aggressive. Where's he at? Where's he at? Come back over here. I see him. What is it? Oh, Seal's gonna get it. Seal's gonna get it. Come up. Oh, no, it's shark. Oh, dude. Yes. More shark species. Get him in, bro. Get him in. Yeah! I'll drink him. Dude, that looks like, um, uh, what do they call those guys? I caught one of those in the Bahamas. Dogfish. That's a dogfish. <laughs> Yo, can you give her a kiss? Give him a kiss, dude. Give him a kiss. Come on. Oh, he likes you, man. Whoa. What kind of release was that, dude? Is that the Tito Tears release? Is that the the wrestling release? Nope, that's what you call the flip and flip and flip release. All right, all right. It's been a slow day, but this spot is producing pretty good. We just got a guitar fish, and we caught uh, I think that was a dog a dogfish. Are they, Smooth what, hound. What do you call what do you call that? Smooth hound. Some kind of crazy shark species Smooth right hound. there. Marlin, bro. Uh, yeah, Blue poor man. Poor man's marlin. It's a beast, dude. Are you sure? Uh, how do you know it's not a 65 pound? Because I can feel his wings flapping. Yeah. Well, you can always pass the rod to me, Tito, if you don't want to catch it. Oh. I'd be more than happy to fight that fish. Oh. 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 Are, you sure, are you okay? I don't think rod bend, dude. Fishing beside mountains. Dude, he's strong, man. Yeah, I got the drag button down, too. One of the funniest thing, he was thinking it's a bat right and watch it be a big. White bass. Oh, he's jumping you. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Dude, how, how, how big these bat rays get? Like 300 pounds, 400 pounds. No. Yes. Dude, this thing's this thing's uh, it's a poor man's marlin for sure. What's he doing? Dude, beast mode. Get him in, bro. It's a 30 pound ray, bro. You just got owned by a 30 pound count out there. On a bass rod. Oh, baby. Hold him up, Tito, come on. 
I've been stung by one of these. How, how, how did all the way through the hand. Really? Yep, I'll show you the scar after. I've been stung all the way through. Nice. Smile right at you. Flying bat rays. Dude, that's pretty ruthless right there. Come cut the cage. What? Too bad that's a, said we come to catch. Too bad that's the wrong kind. It was an eye-opening experience fishing offshore in California. Nothing like Florida at all. The fishing was tough, but I still caught a lot of new species, which was awesome. There was a full moon, and I think that really affected the bite. Make sure you guys go and check out Tito Ortiz's social media and his new YouTube channel. Subscribe to him. Links are in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Shimano. Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors. And Sudacore Nutrition.